Hi everyone and welcome back to my kitchen. Today I wanted to share with you guys one of my all-time favorites. I'll be making my butter and thyme mashed sweet potatoes. These are so good, packed with so much incredible flavor. We're gonna be adding lots of butter and cream and thyme. And this recipe is the perfect replacement for traditional mashed potatoes. So if you're looking to change up the game, looking for some different flavors, this is the recipe for you. It's a perfect complement to my garlic butter turkey. And I love this recipe for Thanksgiving and Christmas. It's, it's the perfect perfect replacement for regular mashed potatoes and everybody really, really enjoys them. Let me show you how I make them. And I'm going to start the recipe off with my sweet potatoes. So today I'm using six extra large sweet potatoes. I'm just going to peel them and then cut them into nice sized chunks. And then I'm going to place the sweet potatoes into a large pot filled with water. And next to the sweet potatoes, I'm going to add in four cups of chicken broth. So if you have too much water, uh, you can dump some of that out to make room for the chicken and it's gonna add so much incredible flavor. Next, I'm going to season sweet potatoes generously with salt close to about a tablespoon and then we'll add more salt to taste once the sweet potatoes are done. Also adding in a little bundle of thyme and about four to five bay leaves. All right, and now I'm going to cover my sweet potatoes with a lid and bring them up to a boil over high heat and let them boil for at least 20 minutes. Sometimes if you have larger chunks, it's gonna take a few minutes more. If you have smaller ones, it might take a few minutes less. Just let it boil away until they're fork tender. We're gonna drain and then come back to finish off the sweet potatoes. And these sweet potatoes are smelling so good. I just turned off the heat. They are nice and tender. I'm going to drain them and we'll come back to finish them off. And now that these are drained, I'm going to use some kitchen tweezers to pull out the bay leaves and the thyme that we added inside. And the first thing I'm going to add once I drain my sweet potatoes is butter. So I'm going to add one cup of salted butter and I like to use a high quality European style of butter so it adds even more flavor to the sweet potatoes. Just drop the butter in. I'm going to just mix it into the sweet potatoes. And then to make sure that the butter melts completely, I'm going to close the pot with the lid and just let this stand for a couple minutes. And after a few minutes, I'm going to add the rest of my ingredients. I have about half a cup of cream. I'm going to add a little bit more. I might add a little bit more just depending on the thickness and the consistency of the sweet potato puree. I'm going to add some cracked black pepper. And next, I'm going to add a little bit of grated fresh nutmeg. It's my secret little ingredient. It adds like this unique nutty flavor to the sweet potatoes. And now it's time to grab a potato masher and mash the sweet potatoes into a smooth puree. And what I love about sweet potatoes is they mash really easily. They get really nice and smooth. So we're gonna have a really delicious puree. I'm gonna add a little bit more cream in here. and season this with some more salt. So you wanna try the sweet potatoes before you start adding more salt. And that's it guys for my easy thyme and butter mashed sweet potatoes. These smell so good. I love the aroma of these cooking away on the stove top. Time to dig in and enjoy and it looks so good. Mmm, mm-hmm. These potatoes are so creamy, so fluffy, just absolutely amazing with so much incredible flavor. Once you try these, you will never wanna go back to traditional mashed potatoes. These just take potatoes to a whole new level. And they're gonna be so good with some turkey, some cranberry sauce, maybe a little bit of salad on the side. I'm actually gonna enjoy these tonight with my smoked turkey, which I have going on outside. It's for a different video recipe, but I'll include it down in the video description box below, along with the link to the recipe up on my blog. I hope you guys enjoy these potatoes as much as I do and I'll see you next time.